Okay, so there's a big debate out there of which radiator is going to be the best. You can fight back and forth of getting a dual core, triple core, quad core radiator thrown in there, cutting out and putting a 77 to 78 Mustang radiator in there, but you have to cut the core support. Uh, I didn't really want to do that, which is kind of funny because I ended up cutting out most of the engine bay. Anyway, I opted to go for this. It is an all aluminum dual core radiator from JEGS. Uh, the difference is the inlet and the outlets are actually swapped. I'll stock one there on the opposite side since the engine is going to be sitting differently. Um, I decided to go this way. Along with that is the fan. So I debated back and forth. I wanted to see how big of a fan I could get on there. And actually a 16 inch fan will actually fit just barely, which is good. That's the biggest fan you can get on there and have it actually fit. And actually it looks like it's uh, just barely touching on a couple of these welds. So what I'm gonna do is trim up ever so slightly on here. Uh, probably take off a quarter of an inch so it'll actually sit nice and flush on this radiator here. All right, so it's safe to say that is nice and flush on there. So now it is time to put those little black pegs all the way through and hold it tight. All right, let's see how well this fits up in here. So it looks like I do have a slight clearance issue. It's uh, hitting the battery box. Now this is supposed to be an aftermarket, so you're supposed to move everything around. I thought I'd be able to have room without moving the battery box, but I'm going to actually just clearance a little bit on the uh, radiator and that's going to be good enough. Got a little bit of notch cut out, so that should clear it. Uh, if it does, then I'll just round it out, smooth it out, and then uh, final bolt it in. All right, looks like that notch worked out pretty well. After some slight uh, finagling, got everything lined up all right, so now I just gotta tighten all up and so I gotta figure out hoses for the radiator. They're not gonna make any like buy off the shelf hoses that. I can just say this is the car, this is the radiator. So I need to measure them out and then kind of route them out. All of them are an inch and a half radiator side and engine side minus the bottom radiator outlet hose. That one is an inch and three quarters. Top one's gonna be easy to find. It's gonna be an easy routing. The bottom one with the two different sizes, that's gonna give me a little bit of pain, but I'll figure it out. The next part, I actually learned this part from my brother. Let me show you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take a clothes hanger, a metal one. You wanna unwind it a little bit. You want to double it up. So now you can make a mold. You're going to take this mold and you're going to kind of find the pattern in which it needs to be. Uh, make sure there's no super crazy kinks, no super crazy bends. Uh, so it's a nice easy flow. So when you go to the store, you already have a mold of what kind of uh, hose you want to be and what kind of bends you want to be. Now that I got my approximate molds, I got one labeled for my one and three quarters inch. The other ones will be one and a half inch. I'm going to run up to the local auto parts store and grab myself some hoses. And the fun part, going through each and every single one of these hoses, trying to find the right design, the right diameter, yeah, the right shape. I have a basic idea. See, it's something approximately an S for each of them, which shouldn't be too bad. That'll be pretty easy to find. I just gotta go through and find the right one that has the right length between the two and the right diameter. So then I can kind of uh, mold it and make it work. So, yep. So I got one of them here. Should be just about right there. I know this one bends in a little bit more, so I'll have to kind of adjust it as need be, but that should be just good enough. Gotta go for the other one. The other one is different size inlet and outlet, so. That one's going to be a pain to find. All right. 
I think that's gonna work. I just gotta get some hose clamps and I can get out of here, throw these on and see if they work. Moment of truth. <laughs> did my estimating skills work out well? Or did I mess that up? So I got home, let's throw these guys on, see how well I did. So I got the lower hose here. Actually, it looks like that one cleared really, really well. That one's ever so slightly short, but that's going to work good enough there. Looks like I did it all right. So I just got to uh, throw some clamps on these guys and... I mean, theoretically, those are those are done. There we go. So upper and lower radiator hoses are now on and clamped up. Now that means I need to jump to the heater core. I want to have a heater in here because it is Washington State. It will get cold on some of those nights back home. And as you can see, these stock heater hoses are just a tad long here. This is the long one and the short one. So I need to route these two hoses into these inlet and outlet right here. So I'm gonna create an elbow, put it in the middle of those, trim up the old hoses, and route it right in. Got the hoses in. Uh, they actually turned out pretty decently. I know it kind of seems up and like so much, but just how everything angles and stuff, um, it's kind of goofy. Later on, I might switch over and get some uh, directional ones where the hose comes out and turns. So I don't have to use so many elbows and things like that. But that's going to be a little bit later. Um, that's going to get it good for now. Because I'm going to cycle everything through, clean it all out a couple times. So, And that's going to wrap up all the cooling. Got the radiator, got the hoses in, water pump, and got the heater core all hooked up to the engine. So that means all the cooling is now complete. One more step down, a few more steps to go. I'm happy about that. That's good to go. If you haven't already, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and we're going to see you guys next week.